In this question, we have two groups that have overlapping members. Therefore, it's going to be a perfect application of the equation T equals G1 plus G2 minus B plus N. In this equation, we can apply by putting in the values that we know. G1 here is the enrollment in the finance course, and G2 is the enrollment in the investments course. We also have the total number of students. For that reason, we're down to B and N. The question is asking us for N, the number or percentage, which is enrolled in neither a finance course nor an investments course. Therefore, from the data statements, the thing that we're going to be looking for primarily is B, the number that are enrolled in both classes. Remember that we're subtracting B in this equation because it's counted twice in G1 and G2. So we subtract it so that it's counted in overall number of one time. Let's turn to the data statements separately first. Statement one doesn't give us exactly what we were expecting because it's not defining the number that are in both classes. But we can analyze by cases to understand what we're being told. If 40% are in investments from above and 25% are in investments but not finance, then the difference, which happens to be 15%, is enrolled in investments and in finance. So we have obtained the value of both as given. Since we have both, we can get neither. Therefore, statement one is sufficient. Statement two is more straightforward because this statement is giving us both exactly what we are looking for in order to determine neither. Statement two is therefore sufficient as well. The correct answer is D.